Hi guys, I'm here this morning with ex-professional footballer um, Kevin Gallagher. Uh, this morning we're going to look at a few skills and drills that you could possibly do at home to keep up your skill set. Mr Gallagher. Morning Lee. Uh, welcome guys, uh, we're here today. We're just going to do a little bit of ball manipulation, touch, control, dribbling, working on your ABCs that you have to work on when you're getting your uh, agility, your balance, coordination and a little bit of speed. Now hopefully I've got a good guy that's going to demonstrate is Mr Purdy, so we might get that change of speed in it. Wait and see. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a step over to give yourself a little skill challenge. And what I want you to do is try and keep your foot as low to the ground as possible when we're doing it. So when we're going over, step over is nice and low. And then take it away with the outside of the other foot. And then we're going to go straight into a dribble. So in the dribble, try and use both feet. Makes it quicker, makes it harder for defenders. Makes it easier for you as well, a lot quicker. When we're coming to this bit, all we'll do is a nice simple weight of pass. And can you catch it round the other side? A nice little way to pass, yep. change of pace, see how it goes. As we're now approaching the next bit, in control of the ball, show me your skills. Step over, double drag back, step over, drag back, step over. Anything to get round, chops, get round the pole and go collect it. You can go, you can do double drags, go past it, double drag and go round and collect it. Yep. And we'll carry on to the next one. As we're going on, again, very simple, outside of the left foot, through, control of the ball, back round, change of pace. Approach your portals in the inside, and again, shoulders down, we're trying to dribble past the defenders, in control of the ball, way angling to both sides, and through, and then to finish the exercise, a little change of pace, through the gate. So starting again, starting off with the step over. Nice and low. Nice and low. Set. In and out. And well, now we're going to show a skill. Two. Two. And finish through. Oh, well done. Now what you'll notice there, I've just let Mr. Purdy go for the first time on his own, just to get used to the feel of the dribble, the control. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull him up in one or two little coaching points, starting here at the start. Step overs. Step overs, one, must be low to protect the ball from defenders coming. And you're trying to show it, so you have to exaggerate that a little bit more. So when we're stepping over it, yeah, don't just step over it, because we're not protecting it. Now it's there, it's throw the defender off. Use your speed for that little change. Low, good. We just come back. And there we go. Like so, good. Do the cones. And hold it there. Now we've mastered the step over a bit. We've got the step over, now we're into the second part of a dribble. So when we're dribbling, and you're going at pace, when we're taking it, as little touches as we can through, to get it through the poles as quickly as we can. So out your feet, and then through, touch, touch, well done. So as you can see, limited touches for the speed to take you through there. Once you come through, it's slow it down and steady yourself. Yep. So the next stage is a little pass going through. So as we're going through it, it's nice, steady yourself, pass, and it's a change of pace round. So you're getting that change of pace in. So when we're going round, 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 it's pass, it's round, you're straight into the movement right away. So instead of taking it, you get the speed and you get the acceleration to, to take it away. So again, we've got it, now we're moving on to the next one. Now we're coming in, a little bit of skills to throw defenders off. So, nice couple of easy ones. First one I'll do is a double drag. So when I'm going through and approaching the pole, I want to go past the pole, but I want to double drag it. So I want to use the pole as a defender. So I'll get my arm up to protect myself. And as I double drag it, I'll put my other arm up and I'll spin round to get away. So I'll do it a little bit faster for you. Yeah, for you. 
So now we've controlled that ball, we're coming through. We've come through the hurdle, we're going round, and now up, up and round. Well, right hand up, good, left hand, brilliant, well done. We're focusing on the important parts of this here, it's basically the start. Work on that step over, keep it nice and low, keep the defenders away from you, protect the ball, get that change of pace to go past the defender. Then when you're approaching dribbling skills, it's a case of you want to throw that defender wrong footed. So drop your shoulder, keep your knees nice and low, don't be standing tall and being rigid, nice and low, in and out the cones, nice little slalom running. Then you slow it down, and as we come to the little hurdle, I class it as a little nutmeg. So there's an opponent there, a little nutmeg through the hurdle, and then a change of pace round to set you up on what, for me, the best part, showing off the talent, your skills. Whether it's a chop, a Ronaldo, a double drag back, a Rivaldo, all these skills that you guys learn and can learn in your back garden, you can learn in the park, you can learn it with your parents, you can teach them. Take it wherever you can. These are all built for small, you can make them individual, you can make it collective, but they're for you to try. So as we come out from the skill, it's a change of pace. We're approaching, nutmeg, round, and a change, and it's got away again. Skill, raise, and round, well done. And in case you noticed as well, got Mr Purdy now. We spoke to him earlier on the hurdles about taking the ball with the instep, in the inside of the foot. That is massively important for the acceleration away when he's just not made the defender. Again now, we're seeing defenders in front of us. Now we've got to dribble. Again, it's not going high on a dribble. We need to get lower. So when we're on dribble, we're using our legs as pistons. So we're getting that spring all the time. Balls of our feet, not in the heels and back, but forward. So we're attacking it through. Inside of the left foot, outside of the right foot, balance. All the way through, and then a chain of face to finish. Control the inside, and attack the defenders. Inside the feet, good, inside out, brilliant. Well done. What you can do with these drills, as Mr Purdy's just done, you can adjust them to your size. They can be just one section you can work on, then build it to two, up to three, then four, five, and finish your section. You can build it to any size that you want. Next drill, Mr Purdy, what we're going to do is just add a little element of judgment of passing. So this one is more for your SAQ stuff, fast feet, and you can use this in any order you want. You don't have to just do it as fast feet go through. You can do sideways, you can do hops, just depends on the weight of your pass to catch the ball at the far side. So I'm just going to show you the very, very simple way. I'm going to pass it to the pole, fast feet, and click the pole, and do a skill around the pole get to the middle. Yep. Okay? So again, I'm trying to judge my pass and then change your pace. So it's pass, go. Got to get there and then get a skill. So any skill you want, I've just used a single leg. When you get there, it could be single, could be double. And remember, you're always going to have a defender beside you. So you get your hand up and yes. get it dragged round. There you go. Well done. You're aiming to get that pass just at the pole, just like Mr. Purdy did. It took him a few attempts, but he got there in the end, working on your passing to change your pace. Well, you've seen the fast forward and you've seen it straight legged. That's only one variation. I'll give you another variation that you guys can work it back home, uh, in the garden, in the park, anywhere you go. So basically, the last one we just went straight, fall on your pass. This time we've got the ball further ahead, now we're specifically working on your SEQ and your fast feet. Start on the left hand side or the right hand side of the ladder, whichever you prefer to start. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your left foot or your right foot in first and bring your other foot and you're just moving it side to side. Yeah? Bringing your foot forward, in, out. Forward, in and out. You're starting at one side, forward, in and out. Going to then take the ball and you're off to do your skill. What you've got to do guys as well is do not forget you have got a ball. A ball yet you have to take at the end of it. So you have to get your balance right at the end. Your take off and your control of the ball has to be almost spot on. Not a little bit like Mr Purdy's there because he was a way down the far end of the field. 
So remember, ball is very important at the end of the SEQ run. Ah! Mr. Purdy's struggling a little bit. He's got to take his pace down. So remember, don't always think you're going to get it right all the time. You will make mistakes. It's how you recover from those mistakes. Take the pace back down. Try it again. Yeah, me messed up there. I can't believe I got that wrong. I mean, you know what it was? It's not to get frustrated about it, because what you've got to do is, when you've come here, sometimes the surface, you don't get the grip on that surface, and that's what the ball done. It never got the grip on the surface. So when you try to get your double drag, your foot spun the ball away from you, and it's how you would react from that, and you finish right away. So instead of getting that ball and going, you've actually kicked it away. So yeah. how can we get ourselves back into the picture with our temperament to get back into taking on the defender? Recover and go again. Recover and go again. We all make mistakes, the best of us do. Okay, we're now going to look at a little bit of the technical detail in controlling the football. Yeah, and there's different ways, Lee, as well, of doing it. When you're receiving a ball, you know, there's certain aspects that you've got to take into account, and that is a defender behind you, and where that defender is when you are receiving the pass. So I'm just going to show you one or two little options that you guys can work on at home. And I'm going to work with a partner, but you guys can also work with a wall on your own. So you don't need a partner, you can do this on your own. So first and foremostly, I'm going to use the pole as a defender, just so that I can put a mindset in myself, I know where that defender is. So all we're going to do is do nice short little passing. Mr. Purdy's going to pass it to my right foot. Now I want to receive it, and I'm going to show you the different aspects of where that defender can be. So we're going to start with the defender straight against my back. Mr. Purdy passes the ball and I receive it. To receive close contact, the defender might kick it away through my legs because I've not done anything. I'm standing tall and I'm not really expected to hold that ball up. So my position now, I've got to try and get side on. So as I'm receiving the pass from Mr. Purdy, on the inside of my foot, I want to control it across my body for security. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using my hand to hold off the defender push that defender where I want him to go, so I can drag that ball away. Again, so again, receiving it with the right foot, coming and I'm going to drag it away. That's with the inside of my foot. Now, the defender is on my left side. He's being very clever, he's trying to come round. So Mr. Purdy again passed it to the right, I can now control it with my right foot, away from that defender. The other option I have, if that defender does come too far round and is pushing me, one thing I can do, I can turn him. So again, I'm holding off a defender, it comes, I'm shielding that ball from a defender. Now, now the defender gets a little bit close, now I can just spin it around one touch and get away from that defender. So again, many, many options. Next option, when the defender is close to me, against my back, I need to secure it, but I have to move the ball. So Mr. Puddy's going to pass the ball, I can come away from the defender, I control it, and I can set up another player. So again, when you're going to control it, first and foremost, the defender's behind you, give him a little nudge. Give that person a little nudge and move out the way. So it's a nudge, come and receive the pass. Receive it and take it off the line to go and get away from the defender and give you that extra yard of space. We've got another variation uh, of what we can do with the hurdles. And this time, it, you add a little bit with the SAQ into it as well. A little bit of fast feet. And it's a, you must do the fast feet. Don't try and avoid it. Because there's easy ways of doing it. I'll show you the avoidance. Then I will show you the correct way. So what we're doing is when you've got that ball and you're coming up, you want to catch the cones with an element of surprise. And it's a little nutmeg. So it's flicking through and don't be jumping over the hurdles to try and get away from it, yeah? Make it a little bit more realistic. Get yourself better at it. What you're going to do is you're going to take it up and you're going to stop it, put it through with the outside of your feet and fast feet through and go and get the ball. Turn and get away from the defender. And turn and get through it.
Thank you, Kev, for those activities. Certainly put me through my paces. I was definitely out of breath at some point, uh, and I've definitely got a few things that I need to work on myself. Um, definitely something that the, the kids can do at home. Um, they can do in small spaces that you can do uh, with one person against the wall. So thank you so much for, for that session. Well, it's just a pleasure. It's, it's passing these things back to the children because we forget that we can utilise things in very small spaces. We don't have to be out in a big wide open park, we don't have to be in an 11 aside match all the time. You can do it on your own. It's up to you to go and practice on your own and you can chop and change everything to the size that you want it, to the size of your garden. Uh, thank you very much for watching and keep posted on our website for more videos like this one.